Funky Friday has a lot of different types of players and many different mods for all of them to enjoy. Today we'll be going over 18 types of players that you may typically find in a game during a normal session. Keep in mind this is a parody video so this isn't aimed at insulting anyone but are you one of these players from the list? Let us know in the comments down below and let's get started. Number 1 The Cosplayer these players are constantly around the Funky Friday servers, cosplaying as popular characters from the Friday Night Funkin' games and mods. Most of them get their items from the UGC shop on the Roblox site and typically only play songs that are associated with their characters. How many times have you seen a Sarvente rolling around in a server? If you've seen more than two, smack that like button. Number 2, The Noob these are new players who have no idea what's going on and haven't really heard of Friday Night Funkin' before. They may look like bacon haired avatars, though that isn't the only limiting factor. These players have a hard time scoring high accuracies and tend to ask a lot of questions in the chat regarding the game, such as how to play the game. Just go on the stage, silly. Number 3, The Pro. These players are seasoned veterans and they know what they're doing. They may have played other rhythm games in the past, such as Asu, and are simply transferring their skills over to Funky Friday. Some can be calm and nice, but others, not so much. Generally, these players have the highest amount of points and wins on the server, so if you want to have a tough match, go against these guys. Number 4, the update player. Oh, a new update is out? Let's go check it out. These players are interested in the newest features that the game has to offer, and after checking it all out and acquiring all the new animations an hour later, they leave the game and wait for the next update. It's all fun and games for a little while I guess, huh? Number 5, the pay to win. With the new update out, these players want to get all the new animations and emotes as they can, but there's only one problem, they're broke in points. One solution? I'll just buy all the animations with Robux and get them all without even playing the game. I guess it helps the developers out, but don't tell anybody that you paid for the points. Number 6, The Rager. These players are very temperamental and they can easily be set off if you're high in skill. They might be angry in general because nobody is playing with them and they're looking to get in more matches in. If you're playing in a game and they randomly leave the server mid-match, you can tell that most likely they have rage quitted and are a rager. Number 7, The Hacker. You don't run into these players too much, but they do exist. Imagine getting more points than you possibly can, or even earning points without putting in any inputs into the game. How is that even possible? I'm not even sure. Maybe they might be masterminds behind the coding. Who knows? Time to patch up the game, boys. Number 8, The Toxic Player I'd stay away from these players. They can be very mean and turn your day upside down. They'll try and find a way to distract you and make you feel bad about your playing performance by mocking you or even insulting you as well. They'll also gloat in your face as they win the match. Not cool bro, just saying, not cool. Number 9, The Single Player these players enjoy the mods in Funky Friday, but by themselves. They enjoy taking up stages in public servers trying out as many songs as they can. Sometimes they even reset their characters in order to remain in privacy and play by themselves. Why not just get a VIP server? You might be playing console, that's right. Number 10, The Tryhard. These players take the game very seriously and are very similar to pro players except they don't have the skills associated with them. These players act tough before the match and may perform well during slow songs, but when it comes to the real deal, you will see that they weren't really what they said that they were. Keep practicing and you'll get up there one day, but for now, don't gloat. Number 11, The Spammer. These players may still be new to the game, but they do believe in button mashing. When it comes to harder songs such as lunatic songs, or even some songs such as Foolhardy, they'll want to spam endlessly in order to try to get as many points as they can. Sure, they'll miss a lot, but at least they do believe in the concept of shooting your shot, even though they might be missing the mark time and time again. Number 12, The Full Combo Artist. These guys are pretty insane, or are they? 
not necessarily pros, these players generally stick to easier songs in order to keep their high accuracies in check and perform full combos in the process. They'll even play short songs such as Fading in order to full combo as many songs as they can in a row, which can be annoying to other players. Just play my song, man. I don't want to play Fading four times in a row. Number 13, the AFKer. These people don't really do much in the game. They're mainly just standing around, possibly off the game away from the keyboard. If you really think about it, they are taking up a spot in the server in which an actual player could be playing. So I wonder how long they've been AFK for. Hopefully they get back pretty soon or get kicked because I need more people to play against. Number 14, the moderator. These players are special and far in between. They have ban hammers and can kick people out of the game if they are causing issues or breaking the rules. Also, check out that custom tag and font in the chat. You know that they're the real deal. Did I also mention that they also play funny songs as well? Yeah, man, play some Rick Roll in Funky Friday, what? <laughs> Number 15, The Chatters. These people don't even really play Funky Friday at all. They usually end up being around in the server, hanging out with their friends in the chat. Do they even know what Funky Friday is about? You have to rap battle against each other in the game in order to get points, not just hang around and chat all day. Looks like I better join another server or something. Number 16, the mod authors. These players are also very special and far in between. These players have created actual FNF mods and some of them have had their work put into Funky Friday as well. Who knows? You might be playing the projects that they actually worked on. You know that they're the real deal with those chat tags and font as well. Have you ever met a mod author before? Let me know in the comments. Number 17, the content creator. These people have nothing better to do but record videos all day and edit them. Some people call them YouTubers while some call them streamers, but whichever they may be called, they end up getting a huge crowd following them wherever they go and cause a lot of commotion in the process. Also, the peachy tag title in italics font separates them in the chat. Well, time to go record another video, boys. Number 18, the cheese. There's only one player that can become the cheese, one of the main developers for Roblox Funky Friday as well. Can you guess who it is? Java Coded. And I'm not kidding. Look at his chat tag. It's literally cheese. Such a funny cheese, man. But those are 12 players that you will most commonly run into on Funky Friday. Which player are you from the list? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and use star code ATTACK. And we'll see you guys on the next video. 